all. Whoa! One more night like this, and we'll be able to fix the church in style. What a rush! It got my blood pumping in a way I thought only quiet reflection could. Fizzy water for everyone! I think we can do something a little harder than that. Mmm! Now that's a marshmallowy some margarita! Homer! Homer! We did it! Wait, hey, wait, what'd you do? We're going to save the church! I feel like celebrating. Oh, but wait, but it's not on the calendar! Okay, but if I'm sleepy at work tomorrow, I get to tell everyone why. Oh boy, oh boy. 1 a.m. loving and 2 a.m. steak? Night marriage rules! <sighs> I guess nothing gets the heart pumping like a church review. <gasps> oh yeah, 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 the review. Oh, I got so many questions. What are the skits about? Uh, pop culture and current events. How do you transition between scenes? Heart blackouts or spotlight fades? Uh, both. Nice. You know, it wouldn't be a review without songs. Tell me about one. Okay. Uh, there's a song about, um, how Democrats and Republicans can't get along. It's called Cats and Dogs. Oh, you got yourself one hell of a show, Marge. One hell of a show. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, don't get cocky, you rapture-waiting baby baptizers. You had one good night, but now the casino is on to you. They're not going to let you anywhere near those blackjack tables. Unless you wear these. Disguises? I'm worried our scam is becoming dishonest. Relax, Marge. If God lets the Jews have Sunday on a Saturday, he'll be cool with this. Why, well, I bet the Lord is pleased as punch that we're using that dirty casino money to rebuild his temple. Our mission is 100% pure. Where has this been all my life? Oh. Oh. I could be sideshow. Anyone. I'm telling Mom about how the school freezer broke and they had to cook all the tater tots and the teachers took the extra tots home in manila envelopes. I'm telling her. You never let me tell. Mom, the freezer broke and took all the tater tots and there were too many tots in manila envelopes and the teacher took them home and they put them in the manila envelopes. Okay, Mel, I'll be at the casino by 10. Meet me at the lounge by the Jay Giles cover band. Mom, why are you going to a casino? Are you a hostess? Actually, my friends and I are using a system to win money to save the church. I can't believe you're gambling. It's not gambling. It's math. Is Dad in on this takedown? It's not a takedown. And I haven't told him about it yet. But it's okay for you guys to know because you're finally grown up enough to be trusted with adult information. <laughs> yeah, we are grown up. I know how much to tip a waiter. I go on hikes with my friends where we talk about our problems. I'll tell your dad everything in the morning when we have the money. But until then, I appreciate you keeping this very grown-up secret. Mm -hmm. Dump that money on the bed. I'm taking a Franklin bath. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Dear Lord, thank you for granting us the gift of rationalization to allow us to scheme and swindle so that we might honor you. Amen. Homie, homie, I can finally tell you how we really got the money. <gasps> homie? Uh, Marge, some casino guys have me and they want the money you took from them or else. <gasps> this is all my fault. Just tell me one thing, Marge. Why did you lose faith in the review? I mean, Cats and Dogs writes itself. Cats and dogs on Capitol Hill, they don't get along and never will. Cats and dogs squabbles never ending, even with... 
so much legislation pending. Homie, how did you end up at the casino? Well, I was taking a moment to enjoy my after-dinner nightcap. <sighs> Dad, Mom trusted us with a secret. But she hasn't come home yet, and we're worried she's in trouble. What? Mom's, Mom's counting cards, cards at the, the casino. casino. Oh, if anything happens to Marge, we'll all be orphans. <laughs> I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> Have you seen this woman? Have you? Have you seen my wife? This is your wife? Do you know where she is? Ah, uh, we'd like to ask you some questions in our beating room. All right, as long as it's just questions. Reverend! Reverend, they took Homer! Why are you still dressed like that? Um, well... <laughs> oh, Asphodel. Your corpse bride is getting cold. Uh, one second, Belladonna. Helen and I have found that uh, these new personas have been quite liberating. Was that a woman's voice? Send her in. If we don't give back the money we won counting cards, the casino people are going to hurt Homer. Okay, uh, tiny snafu. I've already given the money to the contractor. Then we'll just have to ask that contractor to give the money back. <laughs> Give the money back! <laughs> hey, Jerry! They, they want the money back! La Dama Azul quiere devolver el dinero! <laughs> Are you gonna put my head in a vice? We don't do that. We don't even have a vice. We just want the money your wife stole from us. Stole? I was counting card stealing. Well, it's not really stealing. Is it even cheating? No, but... It's just not allowed. Well, I don't get it. Football players can do the quarterback sneak, and baseball players can steal bases. Why can't I just remember which cards have been played? I can't take any more of this guy. Get the vice! I knew you had a vice. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry, Marge. Maybe your husband's suffering was all part of God's plan. God's plan? God isn't some video gamer up there controlling us like we were Pac-Men and Dig Dugs. God isn't Sky Police. God didn't do this. I lied to my husband and made my kids lie too. We did this. She's right. We thought we could enter the den of sin and emerge unscathed, but we were scathed. Those free ginger ales at the casino, I, I didn't declare them on my taxes. Mm. I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place. Put on a review. Mm. Mm. Dear Lord, I don't have anywhere to pray anymore, so I've come to your new temple. Here. Mm. I don't know if you watch us all the time, or if we're just like an ant farm you got for your birthday and left on the shelf. And every once in a while you check out what kind of crazy tunnels we've built. Maybe we got it all wrong praying for you to give us things we selfishly want. Maybe prayer is just taking a moment to tell yourself that there is good in the universe. And I'm going to sit here and focus on that good, and maybe, just maybe, I'll get my husband back. I'm Doug Blattner, CEO of the Gaming and Resorts Division of Stuffer's Italian Foods. My family loves your microwave lasagnas. It's not my division, but I'll tell Bill Kelly you said so. Your unsanctioned religious gathering has caused a marked decrease in gambling activities. HPMs are down. That's hands per minute. IAMs, GDCs, they're all down. I want my husband back! Hmm. Let me run it by Jennifer Yang. Oh wait, she's on maternity leave. Don't worry. I'm sure Chuck Bennett will sign off on it. We are going to release your husband. See, Marge, someone up in the sky did hear your prayers. They sure did. Casino management. You are free to leave, as long as your faith-based card counting group never return to this or any other river or maritime casino. No deal! But we don't need to come back. We saved the church. No! An injustice has gone on here for too long. I'm not leaving this casino until you stop punishing people for counting cards. They're just playing the game by the rules. Yeah! <laughs>